Welcome to online resource. In this video, we are going to learn how to configure distributed transaction coordinator, also known as DTC, in SQL Server cluster. In this demo, we will be learning while uh, uh, while it's important to configure DTC in SQL Server cluster. Uh, and uh, number two, DTC configuration requirements. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about why it is important for SQL Server have DTC. Uh, SQL Server highly transactional uh, database for distribution. A distributed transaction coordinator DTC makes sure that all the transaction that runs on SQL Server gets communicated right. Uh, that is important and for uh, SQL Server data in um, now keep in mind there are a few things uh, I want to talk about uh, first is SQL Server 2005 a cluster environment it was mandatory to create distributed transaction coordinator but uh, in SQL Server 2008 and above it uh, really not mandatory to create a distributed transaction coordinator in cluster environment let's say that you have you don't have distributed transaction coordinator in uh, in cluster environment what it does it 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 uses local system uh, it's node 1 and it's going to local distributed transaction coordinator sql server will uh, will we take you take use uh, use that so you, if uh, if it's on node 2 distributed transaction coordinator will be used by the uh, sql server from there but uh, if you have uh, uh, windows 2003 I would recommend it that go ahead and use uh, distributed transaction coordinator as uh, as a role in SQL Server cluster because uh, uh, Windows 2003 re really behave differently when it comes to distributed transaction coordinator not in cluster. So uh, these are the some recommendation that uh, that we wanted to make sure that understand. Again, distributed transaction coordinator does not need to be in cluster environment in SQL Server uh, 2008 or above and uh, up here. Uh, DTC re configuration uh, requirements uh, number one that uh, uh, when we configured any role in SQL Server it needs to have the name uh, a static IP address and um, when it come to uh, comes to DTC uh, then it need to have disk uh, that is basically required for uh, configuration of DTC in clustering mode uh, so I don't have uh, uh, in this current environment disk added to, uh, of our cluster I have four disk that is data uh, log and temp DB and also uh, quorum uh, so I don't have uh, DTC I don't have DTC disk basically uh, I go ahead and add that into this uh, on that into cluster environment so in this uh, demo you will be also learning how to add uh, disk to an existing SQL Server cluster so in my case uh, right here uh, node 1 uh, here is my node uh, here is my SQL Server failover cluster manager uh, basically Windows failover class uh, Windows failover uh, cluster manager but we are going to use this cluster primarily for SQL Server that's why I keep saying uh, SQL Server cluster uh, clustering so let's go ahead and uh, add the disk I have already make sure that there is a, 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 a shared disk available uh, add in uh, failover cluster so I am going to go ahead and right click on that and add disk uh, and this is uh, cluster disk 5 uh, available I just create it that just uh, create we go go ahead and select that and uh, And as you can see, this file the, this is added in our storage area. So right here, uh, now uh, we are ready to configure uh, our DTC role. So role, uh, in order to configure uh, DTC role, you can do couple things. Number one, you can click on roles and right click on roles and configure roles. And also, you can cancel this uh, by click on roles and configure roles on the right side uh, and action pan right here let's go ahead and use either that option and wizard that option and right click select DTC um, distributed transition coordinator click next and right here uh, is the name of my cases uh, TBC MS DTC and and IP address right here if you go back to our checklist right here I have written down here uh, this is the this is going to be uh, IP address. Uh, uh, it does need ex a static IP address. In my cases, uh, one eight one six eight one hundred sixty three. So we are gonna go ahead and use that IP address in this configuration. Uh, 
63 click next now it's gonna ask uh, ask that what disk uh, you like would you like to uh, add uh, if you ex ex expand the disk uh, it will share you it will show you uh, if you go ahead and expand this basically when you click uh, click on the expand it will uh, show you the detail of the disk so <coughs> tame the band this is the right here the quorum already taken disk 5 that was disk 4 so when I go ahead and use this disk 5 here 5 right here so uh, just we add it on the cluster click next and you can see that uh, storage cluster 5 tvcs msdtc this is going to be uh, IP address of uh, DTC services let's go ahead and click next and uh, click finished the DTC services are installed but it bringing the MSDTC online uh, at this moment as you can see that our roles that we get we had configured in running current owner of this role current owner of this role is uh, TBS node 1 uh, priority is medium you can uh, get some information right here basically uh, this is how you install uh, and MSDTC services uh, uh, distributed transition coordinator services in SQL Server cluster. Again, I want to repeat that it's not really required for DTC to be in cluster mode in SQL Server 2008 and above. Uh, and if you're using Windows 2003, I would recommend go ahead and use DTC distributed transition coordinator in your Windows cluster. So, thank you, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe.